Hi, good morning or good evening to everyone. So today's our new topic is about the file modes. Uh, last class we had an introduction to file concept. Just to recap, file is nothing but it's a collection of information. Uh, when I say collection of information, information that is represented in the files in the form of uh, rows and columns. Here, in terms of technically, rows are called as a records and the columns are called as a fields. And now our main goal in the files concept is how do we open a file? And how do we read the data from a file? And how do we write the data into the file? And how do we append the data to the existing file? And finally, how do we close the file? Now we are going to see the practical examples of uh, all the different modes that we can use while working with the files concept in Perl. So let me start with the uh, uh, first thing called as a file read. So here you can see a uh, mode is less than symbol. Uh, it's a file handler. I'm naming it as a file, and this is the path where a program uh, or a text file resides. If it is, if the file is not found, then it will be dying with file not found. And here, what I'm trying to do is, after reading the data, I'm trying to print the data onto the screen. And finally, you have to close the file. Never forget to close the file if you are keeping the file open. If it is a huge file, so if someone wants to process it, so the data may be may not be an updated data or it causes some issues. So better, so it, uh, to close the file after you process it. So this is the simple program that uh, here you have to make sure like uh, less than is uh, written over here. So if you wanted to open a file in a read mode, in a read mode you cannot append the data or you can write you cannot write the data. What I'm doing is just I'm trying to print the data. As usual, go to command prompt, and uh, if you know the path of the where the program is residing, just copy it here and just paste it. Before that, you have to write it as a Perl programs and slash file read dot pl. So if you see, so in this r.pl, so I have a two lines of uh, two lines of text that is my number of b, and this has been printed. So how it happens if since I used less than symbol, so that uh, that has been worked. So this is how a read operation will work. Uh, what if after extracting the data uh, from a file? Uh, what are the specific action that you want to do or what is the business logic you have you can go ahead and do that one so read is this is read is the operation that we have to use it open file name read mode file path or if it is not there then you have to say file not found for example see here it may fail uh, I'm updating it to ar.pl let's see what happens here it simply say file not found with this at line one right and also we can use warning symbol operation so file not found even though it says the same okay so this is about uh, the file read now let's look at about the file write okay what is the difference between file read and file write we'll see now so uh, earlier for file read you have uh, you have used less than symbol now I'm trying to use a greater than symbol okay and if the file is existing it will truncate the data or it will remove all the all the data from a file okay so here what you can do is uh, uh, print the file data so after you get the data here and uh, print file test data that means you are trying to write this data in into this file so how do you know that so first you was what you have to do is make sure if you have any data so I can see a data over here that is append dot test append dot test so what action happens after we write the data or after we run this Perl script let me save this and I'm trying to run this uh, uh, file write write dot pl okay see now let's go back to the file I'm really sorry about that so let me open this so you can see it has a data with us test data that's it so now go back to your program here and uh, that means uh, this means what is happening here is even though there is any data exist in the file that will delete the data and it will override with your new data if you don't want to delete the data and if you wanted 
to append the data then what is the action you can do uh, simply what you can do is so now in our text file the data what we have is test data right so now I will be writing another program uh, that is called as a file append so in this uh, let me edit this so here you can see uh, the same file I'm taking it test.txt and uh, append the text I'm trying to write the data as append the text now you can see uh, you can run this using file append append.pl okay so now let's see what happens here in the text file if you open this you can see append the text has been done right so this is how this is how you can uh, append the data to an existing file or you, you can you will be seeing read operation write operation open and everything okay thank you so much for watching this video have a great and pleasureful day